Uh, welcome to this short video. Uh, this is about uh, Edge AI for the telco. It's already a fast developing uh, area right now. So uh, my first question for uh, Tal is, how is AI adoption impacting telcos and how are they consuming it? First and foremost, uh, it's introducing a new market opportunity for telcos uh, in addressing uh, the enterprise needs for AI workloads. Uh, I think there's a really great opportunity to go after that and optimize them and provide unique solutions that address the needs of the enterprise as they adopt AI. I think secondly, we've also seen the, um, you know, the historical approach of monolithic sort of slicing of, uh, of traffic not really being dynamic enough. I think the adoption of AI within telcos uh, allows for more dynamic slicing based on the application workload uh, and so on and so forth. And I think also uh, the last thing I would say introduces a challenge because uh, the nature of AI workloads is uh, you know antithetical to the way that uh, cell phones were sort of designed, meaning uh, a lot of cellular signals assumes that that uh, the majority of the traffic will originate from a, a, a location and be sent to a phone, whereas you know a lot of the AI traffic is reverses that. So you, you have a lot of uh, traffic going from devices uh, into the RAN, uh, and that's creating a lot of congestion. And so it's a, it also uniquely presents a, a new challenge for telcos. Yeah, yeah, okay, lots of challenges there. Yeah. So can AI assist telcos in differentiating their services in the market? Yeah, we're seeing a lot of we're seeing a lot of interest uh, from uh, telcos. Uh, you know, uh, I would say that there's uh, there are many different types of approaches that telcos uh, are are using to right. approach the problem or to create a solution uh, using AI. I think on the services side, again, you know, there's a really uh, unique opportunity to provide security services, optimization services. Uh, you know, uh, quality quality service offerings specifically for AI workloads. Um, I think that we're seeing a lot of interest in building vertical specific offerings within, uh, you know, specifically for say healthcare or for manufacturing uh, or for retail, uh, because those industries are struggling uh, with the adoption of of AI and it's causing all sorts of chaos uh, in OT workloads. Um, and I think that you know uh, a lot of telcos are also utilizing AI for simple things like operations. Uh, everything from troubleshooting to uh, uh, provisioning, you know, the consumption and or dog fooding of AI is also uh, something we're seeing a lot from telcos, uh, especially those who are leading. Yeah. Okay. Interesting stuff. So uh, Gartner is predicting that uh, fifty percent of enterprise traffic will be created outside of data centers by next year. So that's quite a lot. Do you see an opportunity for telcos in this? Yeah, I think that AI is uh, actually the first technology I've seen that's sort of uh, uh, bridging the gap between IT and OT. Uh, and as a result, there's a uh, you know there's a really unique opportunity for uh, for telcos to take advantage of that in a way that uh, enterprises haven't previously consumed services like say fixed wireless access before. Um, and I think that the opportunities. Definitely there. I think there's also unique opportunities for services. So uh, helping organizations get uh, deploy AI technologies, providing uh, hubs for LLMs. You know, there's without a doubt, I think that the most important thing that the telcos and carriers need to do uh, is to elevate their mindset from a sort of monolithic uh, uh, approach where, you know, we are offering, you know, just a pipeline of, of data to actually being able to offer uh, high-value services on top of that. And I think AI is creating that opportunity for them to do that. That's great. So lots of opportunities there. Thanks very much, Tal. Thank you.